The American healthcare system is, to say the least, a little complicated. Today we're going to do a deep dive into Medicaid, what it is, who it covers, and how to apply if you're eligible. In simple terms, Medicaid is a health insurance plan for people who are disabled or in lower income brackets. Medicaid covers over 70 million individuals in America. It's funded by both the federal and state governments, though each state administers and manages its own individual Medicaid program. Because Medicaid varies from state to state, the exact coverage you'll get will depend on where you live. However, under federal law, every state's Medicaid program must cover doctor visits and services, radiology, inpatient hospital care, short-term home health care, ambulances, and long-term care. In addition, Medicaid will also cover most of the following services, though the amount of coverage you get will vary from state to state. Eye exams and glasses, dental care, hearing aids, physical therapy, chiropractic care, dentures, prosthetics, preventive services, and family planning services. While Medicaid does cover a broad range of medical care, it does not cover over-the-counter medications or supplements, cosmetic surgery, medical services outside of the U.S., custodial care, missed appointments, or routine physical checkups. That's a lot of information, so if you want to get more specific on what your state covers, visit Medicaid.gov. The biggest factor for qualifying for your state's Medicaid program will be based on your income. The Affordable Care Act of 2010 helped expand Medicaid so that nearly all low-income individuals under 65 may qualify for Medicaid. So if your income is lower than 133% of the federal poverty level, you will most likely qualify for Medicaid. The 2021 poverty level for individuals is $12,880 and for a family of four, $26,500. In addition to income, you'll usually also have to be a resident of the state where you're getting Medicaid. Furthermore, there are a number of limits to how many assets an individual can have in order to qualify for Medicaid. These assets usually include checking and savings balances, home equity, investments, annuities, and more. Most states have an asset limit of $2,000. However, there are some assets you can have that will not count towards this limit. These include the value of one car, your primary residence, life insurance policies, and a funeral fund. Because the asset limit of most states is so low, many individuals choose to spend their countable assets on non-countable assets. One example of this would be using your savings account, which is a countable asset, to pay down your mortgage, which would be a non-countable asset. Many states also have programs for individuals and families with specific medical needs. For example, an uninsured woman who becomes pregnant will usually qualify for her state's Medicaid program. What is the difference between Medicare and Medicaid? Given how complex our healthcare system is, it's easy to mix the two of these up. While they are completely different programs, there can be some overlap between who gets coverage. Medicare is primarily for individuals over 65 years old. In order to qualify for Medicare, you must have been working and paying Medicare taxes for at least 10 years. However, some people under 65 can qualify if they've been on Social Security Disability for two years, have ALS, or end-stage renal disease. While Medicaid is dependent on having low income, Medicare doesn't have an income requirement. As long as you've met one of those criteria, you can qualify for Medicare regardless of your socioeconomic status. Medicare doesn't cover long-term care like a nursing home. However, Medicaid will usually cover some type of long-term coverage, though that care is usually fairly limited. In terms of similarities, Medicare and Medicaid both cover hospitalizations, labs, medications, doctor visits, and radiology. How do you apply for Medicaid? There are currently two ways to go about applying for Medicaid. The first way is to contact your state's Medicaid agency. You can find their contact information at medicaid.gov. Remember, you are required to be a resident of the state where you're applying for. The other way to apply for Medicaid is to fill out the online form on the healthcare.gov insurance marketplace. Yes, understanding healthcare in the US can be a little complicated. However, with the abundance of information available online, it's become much easier to understand programs like Medicaid and how you can get covered if you qualify. Here's a quick recap. Medicaid is a program primarily for low-income individuals, while Medicare is usually for the elderly. Remember, you can always visit Medicaid.gov for all the information you'll need. And if you have any questions about medications and pharmacy coverage for your specific insurance plan, email us at info at and we'll be more than happy to help. NowRx, a better pharmacy.